What's up, everybody? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today I'm actually up here in the Northwest area. I'm actually in a master plan community called Sky Canyon. The name of this community is by Holti. And the name of this community is Solitude. So there's actually a total of three models, but only two are actually standing at this time. And this model that we're gonna look at is actually Park Lane. Now Park Lane is about $200,000 more up in reverence. So let's go take a look at this Park Lane here. Ooh, this is nice. So this one here, let me just flip this thing around, is 246, I'm sorry, 2,462 square feet. You have an option for a three to five bedrooms, two and a half bath to three and a half baths, okay? You also have a cafe, den, and a covered patio, three car garage. Starting price on this, $439,888. Nine foot ceilings. This room is a 12 by 12 it looks like, or 12 by 13. You have your walk-in closet. Solid door. Two inch trims. Beautiful six inch baseboard, straight edge, orange peel texture. So it looks like you have some linen closets for all your towels and all. This one, based upon the price, you are into it about $179 a square foot. Here's the uh, thermostat right here. I would definitely upgrade to one of those programmable thermostats. So actually the digital ones that you can actually connect to your phone. Love this granite. Look at that granite. Undermounted sinks. You have your 36 inch vanity. You have your bench and shower. Love the tile work, that's for sure. Brush nickel frame. Coat closet. Show you the front door here. So it looks like this home is energy certified, which is a lot of builders will um, be part of a association or organization where you become a member. Then what happens is you pay a fee and they certify your home. But obviously you gotta meet certain requirements. This room's a little bit unique. Okay. So a, a junior suite. Oh, that's cool, zero threshold in a bathroom like this. Hmm. Tie all the way up. Got your undermounted sink. Getting your brush nickel. Coming into your 
closet. Okay. Here's your laundry room. You see all this is an upgrade. Love the fact that they starting to put refrigerators in the laundry room now. Love that. Look at the cabinets. Double stack cabinets. I love the fact that the attic access is inside the laundry room. So out here, uh, this is your energy efficient home. This kind of shows you how they build the home. So this is actually really good. I love when builders actually do this. So here is the transitional grill and the jump duck, which is really nice. The vents kind of shows you, okay? Love the fact how they show you how they actually build the home. So basically what happens here is you have the studs behind, okay? And you got the felt chicken wire, okay? Then from the chicken wire, they actually spray the um, stucco. And it looks like they actually double up on the stucco here, which is really nice how they do this. Also, what I noticed, uh, these little drips, these are actually important right here. You wanna make sure that these are not clogged, especially when you're doing your inspections because when they spray this stucco, sometimes it goes in here and it clogs this up. The reason why you wanna have this free is because when rain comes in here, it flows through. If not, you're gonna start leaking uh, inside your house. AC unit, uh, Lennox, which is a great brand. Two types of insulation. Uh, you got the fiberglass, but you got the fiberglass blown in insulation. For me, as far as preference, I would actually go with this. Doesn't mean it's a bad um, insulation. As you can see, we have a post tension, okay? This actually uh, reduces uh, shifting, keeps the concrete together on your floor. Here it just shows you the process of the tile. Uh, basically what they normally do is after they frame it in, they seal it with a the paint, then they come back with this hardy backer and this, um, I forget the name of that felt. But anyway, they'll go ahead and mud and tile it all up, which they're showing you that they do it the right way, which is good. Here's your tankless hot water heater. Uh, your tankless water heater or instant water heater, uh, it's really not instant. It doesn't automatically uh, heat up right away. But what it does is if you use water, hot water on a consistent basis and it's multiple people using water, what will happen is you will have consistent water. Also right here, this is actually set at 115. I believe it can only go up to 140 by code or something like that. I don't remember. However, the other thing is that you don't want to avoid the warranty with the plumbing company because remember, the builder does not warrant everything. Everything is all subcontracted. Also, looks like the soft water loop is included, which it should. Some builders will charge you 350 bucks. I've seen all the way up to 450 bucks. However, should you decide to put a uh, soft water and purification system here, okay, do not do this yourself. You definitely want to go directly to the manufacturer or to the person that actually installed this so that way you don't void your warranty. In addition to that, uh, that soft water loop only goes to certain things to the home. If you want um, your purification system throughout the whole house, you may want to consider contacting a plumber and hooking it up right here through the main line, okay? The other thing is, let's take a look at the included features on Pulte, okay? So here, it looks like you got the Whirlpool appliance package here, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Maple cabinets, or it looks like you have an option for one of these colors. Carpet, not too happy with the standards, but oh well, okay? You got tile in the wet areas one to pick from. I'm thinking I'm liking this one. And you also got granite countertops to actually pick from. Okay, just three. In 
Also, it looks like this is the tile for the bathroom. And let's talk about the fixtures. Here are your fixtures that come standard with the home. It's nice when a builder does something like this. Normally they'll have this on every track where they can actually show you, but sometimes they actually have a design studio as well, just depending on the builder. But that's just more an example for the salesperson to kind of show you. Now I love these, um, designs on the wall here, which you could do this yourself. Okay. I believe this could be turned into a room too as well. I love the uh, office bookshelf. Definitely has more of an elegant feel to this home. Powder room, half bath. Two panel door. Wow, love the elegance of this. Ooh, this is this is pretty banging. I'm feeling this one now. HOAs here are $63 a month. Mass plan is $83 a month. Um, special improvement districts is $475 every six months. The balance on that is about $13,000. Uh, according to the sales agent, there's no prepayment penalty. Phase one is already complete on here or about to be completed. So they're actually working on phase two. Now I like the contrast on this pop down, one inch pop down, look at this. Let's see if I can show this to you, look at this. Where it's white and gray. Okay, cool. According to the sales agent, uh, limited time offer. Uh, possibly you can get a $20,000 incentive here. And if you use their lender, possibly another 3% towards closing costs. Uh, lot premiums, he was telling me, is the average lot premium is about 7500 right now. Man, I love this countertop. It doesn't even justify it. Let me see if I can get the right angle of the lighting here. And this is a 3-inch with a waterfall. Look at that, man. I'm going to have to just really show you guys this is just beautiful kitchen and look at this kitchen aid man they're stepping their game up man I think just to run that plumbing is about three something for the pot filler you have your heated lamps man this is an industrial kitchen Love the cabinets. I already know that these are soft closing cabinets. Oh, that's fast closing cabinets. <laughs> you got the dovetails. I wonder what, what's the uh, brand on this one. Yeah, they're fast cabinets. <laughs> Here's your uh, pots. Conventional microwave. Oh, here's the configuration here. Personalize. You can actually option out. Do your pantry. Okay, let's take a look at this. I think they have this model too at the um, Black Rock. And this is kind of like a hidden door, which is, I thought it was kind of cool. Oh. Always dropping a piece of paper. I don't know why. 
but I love the formal dining area. Love the windows here. I believe these windows are actually standard. Do you prefer the builders to build the same models throughout the valley? Or would you prefer them to keep the model only within that community? Let me know in the comments below. Here is your slider here. I don't know if you can go outside, let me see. Nope, it's locked. Ain't gonna let me go outside. I just wanna go outside. I wanna look at all this, you know? Love the fact that you got the fireplace. This is all an upgrade. Even this slider. I wonder how much is the frame in this whole slider here. It's a beautiful pool back there though. Look at that. All right. I'm gonna try this game one more time. One more time. Okay, cool. So this does slide open. All right, so these are not pocket doors. However, the doors and the sliders are pretty quality sliders. I'm happy with that. Fireplace is definitely a upgrade. This kind of gives you an idea where if you don't have big of a backyard, uh, what can you actually do as far as your pool wise? Let's see here. How many feet is this to the to the wall so let's start off from right here this edge this is the farthest farthest piece for that uh from the house to the wall let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen feet hmm that's not bad fourteen feet from the house Come all the way down here. Okay. You got some nice pop-outs for the windows, which is gorgeous. I do love the pop-outs. Pop the eaves are wooden eaves. I don't really I don't really feel the wooden eaves anymore. I, I like the stucco eaves. Backyard's definitely a uh, pretty low maintenance for sure. Man, this chair looks uncomfortable. Got the waterfall. Forget the name of that uh, that pop down there. What, what it's called? I love the fact that you got the lights. Kind of really keeps it elegant. That's for sure. But I forget the name of that. I forget what it's called. Let me know in the comments below what it's called. Let's check out this master. Oh my god. Oh. So in here you also got the one inch drop down on the ceiling and it, it's painted the same as the living room. Kind of gives you that contrast and that. Hmm. 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 I would say this room is probably good 18 by 18. It's a pretty huge room. Whoa, look at that bathroom. That's crazy, they do a zero threshold in the junior suite, but not in the master suite. Whoa, look at this tile though. I love it. I love this tile. I love you, you love me. The only thing is that 
see all these white grout lines oh man you know that's gonna be so hard to see all, like you can already see it how dirty it is that's the only thing I don't like about white grout lines especially on the flooring you know what this this almost feels like it's limestone you got your shower head here I do like the fact that there's a bench Here's your water closet. This looks like your standard closet. However, uh, it's a lot better than other standard closets, I would say. That's for sure. Get more bang for your buck out here, believe it or not. The mean of price point for a home right now is three hundred thousand for a resale. I'll show you guys the countertops, quartz. Oops. This is like the best part of the house right here. So. The only thing, it just feels kind of dark. I don't know why. Especially with all those lights, it's just like, it's just not enough lights. Let me know what your guys' thoughts about this property. You think it's actually worth the asking price would you actually pay the asking price would you actually live out here in the northwest sky canyon also what i'll do is i'll probably have a link maybe below but i'll probably have a link above too as well or um it's a tag we'll actually show you where the clubhouse is other than that thank you so much for tuning in i'm chuck it's chris what with simply vegas and have a blessed day